Come find a seat of your choice, either sitting on your shins like I'm doing here or sitting cross-legged. Bring your hands into Yoni Mudra. Your index fingers and your thumbs touch with the rest of your hands interlaced. And then rest the back of the hands on the thighs. Close the eyes and just take a couple of deep breaths here. This mudra helps to calm the mind and take the awareness inside. So allow the rest of your day to dissolve into the background and breathe into your internal landscape. And slowly bring your hands into prayer. Bring your index fingers to your third eye center and bow your chin softly towards your chest. Set an intention not only for your practice, but for the rest of your day. What kind of bhavana, what kind of mood do you want to create? And slowly opening your eyes and come forward onto hands and knees, wrists and shoulders align, knees and hips align. And as you inhale, arc the spine, look up to the sky for cat-cow. As you exhale, round the spine and look at your own belly button. Take these nice and slow. Inhale, arcing the spine, looking up, feeling the belly lower towards the ground. Gaze goes up towards the sky. And exhale, round the spine. Look at your belly. Inhale, arcing the spine. Exhale and round. Come to a neutral spine and make your way into child's pose, taking your arms out in front of you, bringing your forehead down to the ground, hips to heels. Come back onto hands and knees and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand for lizard pose. As you bring your pelvis forward and down, if your front knee goes past your ankle, either slide your back knee further out behind you or slide your front foot further forward. Breathe deep into your inner thighs, into your quadriceps. If you can, close your eyes and just get lost in your own breath. Step your right knee to meet your left knee and step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. So just switching sides here. As your pelvis comes forward and down, deepening the stretch, just check front knee stacked over front ankle. And if that's not happening, if the front knee is going further forward, then just slide your back knee further up behind you. And then again, if you can, close your eyes and just come back to your breath. And slowly step your left knee to meet your right knee. Anahata asana, keeping your hips directly over your knees, slide your hands out in front of you and work your forehead towards the ground, stretching the side waist, stretching the front of the shoulders. The further forward your hands are, the more intense the stretch. Slide your hands back towards you and now step your right foot in between your hands and climb your hands on top of your front thigh coming into a lunge, interlacing your fingers together. If this ever starts to feel like it's too much in your back knee, just slide a blanket underneath your back knee. Now gently pressing your hands into your front thigh, lifting your chest a little bit more upright, you'll notice it'll deepen the stretch in your back quadriceps. Now breathe deep into your thighs, into your hip flexors. Now 
hands down by the front foot. Work towards straightening your front leg for Ardha Hanuman half split pose. You may want to put your hands on blocks or you may want to keep your front knee bent. You'll kind of see how this goes in your own body. Staying on fingertips, hug the inner thighs towards each other and then work towards straightening your front leg. If you're longer limbed, you might have to slide your front foot a little further forward. You'll see how that goes in your own body. And then either stay upright or walk your hands out in front of you and bow over your front leg. Keep tilting your sit bones up towards the sky as you come forward and down so that you're keeping the lower back long as you stretch your hamstrings, the back of your right leg. Bend back into your front knee. Step your right knee to meet your left knee. Step your left foot forward. So same, same other side. Climb your hands on your top thigh, interlacing your fingers together, and then bend a little deeper into your left knee. Front knee, front ankle stay stacked. If the knee goes further forward than the ankle, just shimmy your front foot further forward or your back knee further out behind you. So we're essentially deepening the quadricep and inner thigh stretch from lizard pose coming into this lunge. Again, if you can, close your eyes and just come back to your breath. Hands down by the front foot. Work towards straightening your front leg, Ardha Hanuman, half split pose. So keeping your hips over your back knee, work towards straightening the front leg, curl toes to shin, and then hug your inner thighs towards each other. Tilt your booty out behind you and either stay upright or walk your hands forward and down. You can always keep your front knee bent or you can always put your hands on blocks, depending. And then breathe deep into your hamstrings. Walking your hands back up, step your left knee to meet your right knee, child's pose, hips to heels, forehead to the ground, walking the arms out in front of you. Come forward onto hands and knees. Step your right foot forward in between your hands. Walk your left hand off the mat to the left, straightening your left leg. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, rolling your chest open towards the right and up. Roll your left shoulder onto your back and see if you can really open the chest as you lean back. Stay as you are or lower your back knee. Reach around and grab a hold of your back foot with your top arm. So sometimes this puts too much pressure on your back knee. So if that's the case, then just stay in the lunge with the back knee off the ground, opening the chest. Slowly release. And step your right knee to meet your left knee. Step your left foot forward in between your hands. Walk your right hand off the mat to the right, straightening your right leg. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky, rolling your chest open towards the left. Really straighten your back leg here and draw the shoulders onto the back and then lean back, opening the chest. Stay as you are or put your back knee down on the ground and go ahead and grab a hold of your right foot with your left hand. Again, if this ever puts too much pressure on your back knee, then just stay in the same pose we were just in. Wherever you are, become a little bit lighter on your right hand so you're not pressing down into your right wrist and shoulder joint. Release and step your left knee to meet your right knee. Come on back to child's pose, hips to heels, forehead to the ground.
Come back forward onto hands and knees. Walk your hands over to the left and then step your right foot to the outside of your right hand like we've been doing. Feel free to stay upright or come down onto forearms. You can either put them on a block, a bolster, or the ground. So deepening the lizard stretch. If you want a little bit more fire, curl your back toes under and straighten your back leg. Come back to your breath. If your back knee was off the ground, go ahead and place it back down on the earth. Walk your palms back up and then step your right foot in between your hands. Ardha Hanuman, like we did before, work towards straightening your front leg. Either stay upright or bow over your front leg. Either stay as you are or lift back up again and take both your hands to the outside of your right leg so you're twisting your torso to the right. This is going to deepen the outer thigh and outer glute stretch on the right side. Keep hugging the inner thighs towards each other and envision that you're trying to bring the front of the pelvis on the left side towards your inner right thigh. So twist your pelvis and your torso towards the right. Keep your right big toe reaching directly up to the sky. Come on back to center, bend into your front knee. Lifting upright with your torso, take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, bring your hands into prayer and begin to twist, revolve, lunge pose. Pressing your top palm into your bottom one, inhale, lengthen your spine forward and up. And as you exhale, twist your chest towards the right, trying to get your thumbs to kiss your breastbone. You can stay as you are, or look down towards the ground, curl your back toes under and straighten your back leg. Stay as you are, look down, and take your left arm to the outside of your right leg and reach your right arm up to the sky, deepening the twist. If this ever feels like it's too much for the shoulders, just keep your hands in prayer in front of your heart, no problem. And then wherever you are, lengthen your spine forward and spiral your heart open to the right and up towards the sky. Or down through your front heel. Look down to the ground, take your hands down on either side of your front foot and lower your back knee down to the ground. Step your right knee to meet your left knee and make your way into child's pose. Ah. Close your eyes and just feel the effects of what we've just done on the right side. Come back onto hands and knees. Walk your hands over to the right and then step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, lizard pose. Feel free to stay upright like we did last time or you're gonna to begin to lower down. You can put your forearms on blocks, a bolster or the ground. You'll see how that goes in your own body. And then wherever you are, breathe into your inner thighs, your back leg. If you wanna add a bit more fire, curl your back toes under and straighten your back leg. Connect to a gaze point either on the ground or again, close your eyes. Return to your breath. Put your back knee down on the ground, walk your palms back up. Step your left foot in between your hands. Ardha Hanuman, half split pose, work towards straightening your front leg. Hug the inner thighs towards each other and then bow over your front leg. Feel free to stay here. If you came with me on the other side, take both your hands to the outside of your front leg. So we're accessing the muscles around the IT band, the outside of the thigh, as well as your outer glutes. Imagine that you're trying to get the front of the pelvis on the right side to touch your inner left thigh and keep your left big toe going up towards the sky. If this feels a mildly nauseating, you're in the right place. Deepen your breath.
Come on back to center. Bend into your front knee. Climb your hands onto your front leg and then go ahead and take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee for revolve lunge. Plant your left palm on top. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward and then exhale, twist your belly to the left, trying to get your thumbs to kiss your breastbone. Stay as you are or look down towards the ground, curl your back toes under and straighten your back leg. Again, if straightening the back leg feels like too much, you can put your back knee on the ground at any point in time. If you're coming with me, let's spread our wings. Take your right arm down to the outside of the left foot, left arm up to the sky. Press your left knee out towards your right arm and your right arm into your left leg. Use that as resistance to see if you can twist a little bit deeper from your core. Keep the back leg straight. Look down to the ground, lower the back knee, hands down on either side of your front foot. And then again, step your left knee to meet your right knee, child's pose, balasana. Once you get there, close your eyes and breathe again into the effects of what we've just done. Come on to hands and knees and then go ahead and sit your butt down on the ground, lie down on your back. Hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs, give yourself a nice big hug. Stay as you are or begin to draw circles with your knees, massaging the lower back. Take the circles in the opposite direction. Keeping your knees bent, place your left foot on the ground and your right ankle on top of your left thigh for thread the needle. You can stay right here or lift your left foot up off the ground and interlace your fingers around your left thigh, hugging your right chin in towards you. So we're deepening the glute stretch here on the right side. Relax the head down. If you want to take this further, recline pigeon pose. Wrap your arms around your right shin and straighten your left leg on the ground out in front of you. Your right foot would be in your left elbow and your right knee would be in your right elbow with your hands clasped in front of your right shin. If you're not sure what I mean, you can always just look at me. If your head comes off the ground in this variation, put something underneath it like a block or a bolster just so your neck is relaxed. And again, if you can, close your eyes and come back to your breath regulating the inhales and exhales as best as you can. Half happy baby, go ahead and release your right foot. Take your right knee out to the right, right sole of the foot faces the ceiling. Hold on to your shin or your foot with your right hand and either keep your left knee bent, left foot on the ground or straighten your left leg on the ground out in front of you. The more you take your right knee out to the right, the easier it is to draw the knee down towards the ground. And then breathe into your inner thighs, breathe into your hamstrings. Release and bring your right knee in towards the chest. Interlace your fingers around your right shin when release pose. Straighten your left leg on the ground out in front of you if it's not already there. Bend both your knees. Place both your feet on the ground. Feel the difference between the right and the left side. Thread the needle other side. Go ahead and place your left ankle on top of your right thigh. Either stay here or lift your right foot up off the ground. Interlace your fingers around your right thigh and hug your left shin in towards the chest. Stay as you are, recline pigeon, wrap your arms around your left shin and straighten your right leg onto the ground out in front of you. 
So left foot into right elbow, left knee into left elbow, clasp hands in front of shin. If the inner thighs feel like they need a bit more space, you can always keep your right knee bent, right foot on the ground. Half happy baby, right knee bent, right foot on the ground. Take your left knee out to the left. Either hold on to your left shin or your left foot, creating a 90 degree angle in your left leg. And then either keep your right knee bent, right foot on the ground, or straighten your right leg out in front of you if you want to deepen the stretch. Keep pressing your right thigh down to the ground so that the front of the pelvis is parallel with the ceiling. Bring your left knee in towards the chest. When release pose, interlace your fingers around your shin, straightening your right leg on the ground out in front of you if it's not there already. Both knees bent, both feet on the ground. Take your feet as wide as the mat and then begin to windshield wipe your knees from side to side. Take your arms out to the sides and cactus them. Next time they end up on the right side, go ahead and stay here. And if you want to deepen the stretch, lift your right foot up off the ground, take your right foot to the outside of your left thigh, and gently draw your left thigh to the right and down. If this creates too much pressure in your left knee, just keep your right foot on the ground, no problem. So you should feel a stretch in the front of the pelvis on the left side, the back, as well as the side waist. Slowly release the right foot and windshield wipe your knees over to the left. Stay as you are or go ahead and lift your left foot up off the ground. Take your left foot to the outside of your right thigh and gently draw your right thigh to the left and down. If you feel any tweaking in the knee, just put your left foot right back down on the ground. Breathe into the right side waist, the right side of the pelvis. Come on back to center, both knees bent, both feet on the ground, and then lift your knees up off the ground, wrap your arms around your legs, give yourself a hug. Take your feet down to the ground, we're going to create back traction. Slide your hands to your thighs, all the way up to your hip creases, and then press your hands into your thighs, trying to straighten your arms, and then suck your abdomen in and up as you do this, creating back traction. Keep breathing as you do this, gently sucking the abdomen in and up and trying to straighten your arms. And then release, take your feet as wide as the mat and bring your knees towards each other. They may or may not touch, you'll see how it goes. And then one hand to the belly and one hand to the chest. Close your eyes. Take your awareness down into your pelvis and just observe after all the opening that we've done in it, what's changed?
Now take your awareness into your abdomen and your chest, and as you inhale, fill up the belly and then fill up the chest. And as you exhale, feel the belly come down and then the chest come down. Inhale, fill the belly, then the chest. Exhale, feel the belly come down and the chest come down. Inhale, lift the belly and the chest. Exhale, belly comes down, chest comes down. Inhale, belly and chest. Exhale, belly comes down, chest comes down. And then let go of that breathing and just observe how you feel. Remain here for as long as you like. Whenever you're ready, Shavasana, extend your legs out in front of you. Feel free to keep your hands on your body or take your arms out to the sides.
Slowly begin to deepen the breath, bringing awareness back into your physical body. Beginning to wiggle the fingers and toes, take your arms overhead and give yourself a big old stretch. Bend your knees and place your feet on the ground. Slowly rolling over to one side. Make your way up to sit. Find a seat of your choice. Bring your hands into prayer in front of your heart. Bow your chin softly towards your chest. Thanking our bodies for this practice. Thanking all the people in our lives who support us as we walk our path. And to our breath for giving us life. Namaste. If you like that video, you'll probably like these. And if you want more videos, go to my membership site. Either way, let's stay connected.